Drake and Rihanna exchange some words. Ariana Grande might be adding a new boyfriend to the roster. Plus, Idris Elba reacts to Cardi B's fake sick people claims. Hey guys, it's Allie for Hollywood Life. And have you ever had a friend that you love so much you want to dedicate your doorbell to them? Yeah, me either, but apparently Drake has because a few days ago he showed off his new ringer in the shape of 21 Savage's head. Yeah. Yeah. My only question is what part of his face do you push to ring the bell? But all right, as you probably know by now, Cardi B has been far from quiet when it comes to the pandemic. Well, she recently went live and revealed that she's not actually convinced that certain celebrities are sick. He seen these basketball players say like, yeah, I have, I have, I have virus, but I don't got no symptoms. And it's like, so how the f am I supposed to know when I'm supposed to like, get tested for it? Y'all niggas is playing, y'all niggas is playing with me. Cause y'all not, y'all not really saying what it is. And it's like, all right, so tell me what it is and what it ain't. I'm starting to feel like y'all is pain to say that they got it. And if y'all are pain to say that they got it, pay me too. Pay me too. Okay. In response, Idris Elba, who tested positive earlier this month, went live to disprove Cardi's claim. I think that the negativity around, you know, test shaming is like counterproductive. I don't see what people get out of that. And also like this idea that someone like myself is going to be paid to say I've got virus. That's like absolute bullshit, such stupidness. And, and people want to spread that as if it's like news that's stupid it's the quickest way to um it's the quickest way to get people sick that way because there's no there's no benefit to me and sabrina sitting here saying we've got it and we ain't got it i, I don't even understand the logic of that adding to this cardi went live yesterday again and had this to say about the government and people who couldn't afford testing and on top of that a lot a lot of celebrities yeah have the luxury to pay thirty four thousand dollars or whatever the f cost to get tested and get treated a lot of these people they don't have that money and i feel like all this i feel like for virus treatments uh for for testing for all that i feel like the government should take that to put charge that to the game and not charge people for it because at the end of the day this shit could have been prevented when they find out about this couple of months ago and the they was doing in china but okay, let's jump from that serious topic to one that's much less serious, like Ariana Grande maybe having a new man in her life. Oh, some lighthearted news, thank you. If you pay attention to Ari's social media, you might have noticed a new mystery man in one of her quarantine pics. Well, TMZ reports that man's name is Dalton Gomez, and the site says Ari and Dalton have been seeing each other for several months now. He was even reportedly the guy that she was spotted with making out with last month. And speaking of quarantine love, it looks like Drake was trying to shoot his shot with Rihanna during DJ Spade's Instagram Live last night. Drizzy initiated things by telling Rihanna to drop R12 and making a reference to her Fenty foundation. Riri reacted by basically calling the rapper thirsty, but Drake just laughed it off until told Rihanna she has a bad attitude. But all right guys, hit the sub, like, and bell button. Make sure to follow me on social media at Ali Stegnita and stay inside.